Hey there, besties. We got another one, child. Another one, all right? This video right here is pretty old, y'all. Um, five months, not old, but five months old, right? And looks like it's back in the algorithm. So this is our live, I believe. Guess who's at the top of the poverty level list? As you can see, as the video plays, we're looking at uh, statistics. Shout out to blackdemographics.com, poverty in black America. I'm sure we went over a lot. So black women lead in poverty. We know that that's what it is. We've seen it in writing. People talk about it all the time, but you know how these women are. They don't want to listen, right? Fine. So we have a new commenter. We got trashy croon, I believe right here, the top one. And it says, I would like to know why you hate on black women so much. Y'all, is that what I do? Is that what I do? Do I hate? I'm a black woman, but I hate on black women. So telling the truth, y'all means that it's hate. It's interesting to me how black women can be up on any panel, talk negatively ab about black men, and that's fine and dandy. And it's all about feelings, how you feel in your own experiences. It's not about anything that's statistically proven. It's just, I don't like it. So I'm going to talk about it. Uh, a B all black male babies, um, ain't sugar, honey, iced tea, crusty, rusty, dusty, musty, bums, ashy, and germane everything. The woman where we got the name Jermaine from red rummed one of her kids, potentially red rum, the second one covered in B L O O D and going to sit up here and blame someone else for what she did. The woman who goes outside of Joe Biden's white house talking about he needs to waive her 200 plus thousand dollars in student loan debt as a single parent to two children mad cause she can't afford to put her children through college and she only makes $85,000, but somehow, some way, no one wants to talk about that fact. That is a fact. That is a true story that those people put out into the atmosphere. Women that will sit up here and leave their whole family, meaning their children, to go chase after a man that's three to four or five states away. Now they're missing and we're supposed to care when she got up, packed up, made a conscious decision to leave her three children. And now she's missing to go be with a man that she had never met in her life. She left her kids. Now, I don't know if that woman was black, but the point is, is that women are not perfect, whether you want to believe it or not. So while you're sitting here, trashy croon, saying that I don't like black women or that I hate on black women. No, you all don't want to acknowledge the truth. You don't want to see what it is. What you want to do is talk about everyone else, but don't want to acknowledge your own issues, our own problems. What's wrong with our community, our contribution to it? The single baby mama hoodism, which is a big problem in the community, Aww. but you would rather not talk about it and blame men when women are the ones that allow men to come and shoot up the club. And then knowing that they chose an ain't ish Negro, but they're mad that you get nothing from an ain't ish Negro, but you knew he wasn't ish to begin with at the end of the day. Then go and have babies with a man who has 34 kids. 17 women had 34 kids with one man, all black, all black. But you don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about stuff like we're the most educated. Well, you're not very smart since you're at the top of the list you shouldn't be at and the bottom of plenty that you shouldn't be at. But it's better to just ignore it because you think that if you ignore it, that it's not true. That doesn't make it not true. It's not like we don't see a bunch of black women who are homeless. Ain't no, got no place to go, no place to live. The story is the same over and over and over again. Alone women with kids by two to three different men ain't with a man. Don't see a man ain't married to a man and in a relationship with a man, but somehow some way, of course, it's the man's fault that you can't afford the family that you created. And now you take over a home that don't belong to you because it's empty and you don't have no place to live. No problem with that. No problem with all the dysfunction. Y'all don't want to talk about all this dysfunction. You want to ignore it. And then you want to say that I hate, I, what am I lying about? That's what I want to know. Trishy Kroon. What, where's the lies in anything that I'm saying? Let me continue. I am a single mother of one. I've been to college twice and to trade schools. I have four car all 
paid from a care business for renting a sports car, drop top, a dog, child. I don't know what that means. I take care of my mom. I am a truck driver, a tattoo artist, a laser removal tech, and I don't really want a man. If I run into one great, but I make a hundred K a year plus side hustle child girl, I'm going to go ahead and chalk it up to the internet and you just do not care. But this is very illiterate. I have to be honest. My baby daddy wanted me to get an AB and he told me if I had the baby, he would disappear. And he did. Why do you come down on your own people? So, so bad. Why do you ignore what's wrong with our own people? So, so much. Why do you deny what exactly is going on? You just now said that your baby daddy, who obviously wasn't ish, but you, you know, laid down with him and had a baby. And shout out to you for doing it up. And you're not one of the ones that's on Section 8 or homeless or on the side of the road or whining and complaining, bitter and mad. That's fine. That doesn't change the fact that this stuff is true. Your story plays right into what I'm talking about. Why is it that this, you black woman, you and women like you don't want to acknowledge what it is. Don't want to face the fact just because you made it out, if that's what you want to call it, because you definitely a statistic, ma'am. Sorry for your luck. But just because you made it out and you got money, that means it's not true. Just because one out of a hundred made it out, that means the story is not true. Where is it that you're not comprehending that there is a problem in the black community and sitting up here blaming racism every day is not going to change it. If you don't talk about what the problems are, how do you change the problem? How do you move forward? How do you help anyone? You sit up here and just be like, it's all good, girl, do what you want. And then you got more people being single mothers. You got more women that are out here homeless, being evicted, and you just want to blame someone else. How does that help your life? How does that help any other woman's life? It's not me hating. Stop equating it to hating. It is the truth. Hate it, like it, love it. It is the truth of what's going on. I'm not offended by it, and I'm black. Why are you offended by it? Why does it make you upset? Why is it that you got to say something like this instead of acknowledging the fact that it's true? So the point is, is that it doesn't change the fact that black women are at the top of the AB list. Look it up a previous video. You don't know what that means. The fact that we're the highest when it comes to uh, lowest poverty, lowest in poverty, the highest in evictions, the highest in student loan debt, the highest in obesity, Like this stuff is effing true and no one wants to talk about it. No, how are you ever going to solve, resolve anything if you ignore it? You can call it hate all you want to. At the end of the day, that's mental illness to say that the truth is hate. The truth is the truth. Understand it, know it, change it, be about it, whatever you want to call it. Do something about it. But don't come here saying that I hate on black women. So are we just going to keep ignoring it and keep blaming Jim Crow and segregation and slavery, racism, white supremacy, racist cops, all this instead of doing something to change our lives for the better for our kids? Because those are the ones that are suffering at the end of the day while they're out here being gremlins, gremlinizing everything and everyone. While black women out here protesting the police and no police and then cry that we need the police and then turn around saying why the police not helping and why is it that they didn't come and why is it that they not showing up because black women wanted to defund the police. So now they're defunded and this is the result. You can't say you don't want it and then turn around and you want it when you want it. That's the same thing with men. You don't want them, but then you want them when you want it. That's crazy. That's mental instability, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. So honestly, trashy croon, if you want to come up here and talk about it, we can get online and talk about it in front of the daggone audience. Because if you got something to say that refutes the effing truth, please let me know. I will let you know when I'm available for you to come through. But the fact that you, you and women like you want to continue to say that I'm a problem because I'm telling people the truth. Section eight, everybody want to come through and say, oh, it's more women on it. More white women, more white women, more white women. But white women ain't out here in front of the camera whining and complaining. White women ain't out here whining about the fact that the poor, that the mean landlord kicked them out when they wasn't paying the daggone rent. White women ain't out here talking about housing is a human right now. Some of them is out here and I've shown them. Okay. So don't say it's all black women, but guess what? I'm a black woman. So it would make sense for me to talk about what I know. And this, I do know as a former landlord, as a black woman, as a married woman, as a, as a mother, as a homeowner, I know one or two things. 
And I do know that black women, many black women don't want to acknowledge the truth. They don't want to accept account accountability or responsibility for anything that they've done wrong, but are very good in blaming. It is getting them nowhere. We got a problem and it ain't white supremacy, discrimination and racism at the end of the day. It's the fact that until you know better and are trying to figure out how to do better, you're going to continue to have the same daggone results that are not good for you, not good for your kids and not good for the community as a whole. That's why I'm not on the SYCBM because of people like you and the last person that I just had to read and other people from before that want to sit up here and act like I'm doing something wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong except for talking about what is true. Now, if you can come through and tell me where I'm wrong with facts, data, and statistics, then I'll take it all back. But at this point, it has all been proven. Again, shout out to blackdemographics.com. It has been shown since its bureau, the Brookings Report, and all these other places, but y'all refuse to acknowledge that. That's not my problem. Continue to live in la-la land all you want to. It don't matter. And if you think that just because, you know, you made it, that means it's not true, that's the problem too. I've made it as well, but that don't mean that that's not a, there's not a problem. But no one wants to listen. That's the problem also with black women. They don't want to listen. Don't know a thing about finance. Don't know nothing about credit, checking, savings, none of that. Ain't trying to look it up. Ain't trying to follow nobody, but very good at getting online and complaining about the same men that they allowed to give that seed to and then got pregnant, then got mad because it ain't work out the way that you wanted to. But somebody sit up here, talk about getting married. And that's like the worst thing in the world. Congrats on your accomplishments. I don't need to list out mine. I know what I've done and I don't need to prove nothing to nobody. What I do know is the fact that we got a problem. And if people don't want to acknowledge it, that's cool. Then don't get triggered by the truth. Because at the end of the day, no matter what it is that you feel, no matter what it is that happened with you, the truth is the truth is the truth. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.